Hey guys, it's Friday. I'm walking through campus right now on my way to Rosie and Erica's. I just grabbed some dinner and I got this chicken gyro. The woman at the registrar gave me a stink eye because I didn't read the sign that said $8 minimum deposit. And I felt bad and I don't like talking while eating and I really want to eat. So I'll get to you guys after I finish this. See ya! These guys are playing ultimate frisbee. I don't recognize any of them, but they do have a disc in their hand. And I still am eating my shawarma, I promise. It's not getting into focus. I'm sorry. This is a construction site on the way to Rosie's. And the pipe's leaking water. Look at all the water that's being leaked. This is too much food. I'm not able to finish this, but I'm almost at Rosie's. So I'll see you inside. We're here now. They're laughing at me. Do you want to eat this? No. It looks terrible. <laughs> really? <laughs> what is it? Like Mainly because it. it has green. And I thought she was going to like <laughs> talk about her video or something, and then she just goes. <laughs> and then I nodded, <laughs> and then she pointed at you, and I was like, "No, me!" And then she got really excited and ran to it. And it Guys, was cute. Play it. Look what's here! Lots ah, of keyboard. Beethoven. <laughs> This is what it takes, Rosie, to play music. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> So my alternative breaks trip over spring break was really awesome. Uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about, but I feel kind of bad because I didn't make like a freshly made video. It's kind of been stewing. It was really awesome. I learned about food justice and sustainable agriculture, and the class leading up to it had issues like food accessibility and food deserts and nutrition and workers' rights behind it. And I actually finished the application today because I want to be a break leader next year. And yeah, so we went to like five different farms. We went to a chicken farm, an iris farm, like the flowers. We went to an oyster farm and like a bunch of like small farms in between like nurseries and things like that. And all of them were organic and sustainable, but they even then, even though they were all the same in that sense, they were really different in their practices. Like one of the farms focuses on bio-intensive farming and one of the women, Tara, she really wanted to prove that farming was a viable business venture and a lifestyle. But another farmer just wanted to make sure that people had like a loving relationship with the earth. His was like the most hippiest. And the other, um, Alexis, she just really wanted to have really organic food, even though she has to deal with all the issues behind that. For instance, she has an organic farm because she has organic practices, but she can't actually label the eggs that she sells as organic because under the USDA, you have to buy organic feed, but organic feed all comes from China. So she says, why do I have to buy feed from China if I can buy locally, like homegrown food? And so she sacrifices that part of her business to make up for the beliefs that she stands for. And that's really cool. Um, so yeah, I feel like I might have an extended video about this just because I'm kind of distracted right now. So I'll just leave you guys with some clips about what we did. And so of course, we've got them in the tub with the shampoo that has the tea twirl in it. And I'll Say hi, little buddy. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 